Hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect. So in this video we are going to understand how to create Zoho CRM record for Go High Level Form Submission. So are you also using these applications for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So over here I'm doing the same. I'm running a EduTech company and for that we take the potential customer's details with the help of the Go High Level Form. So what I want is that as soon as my potential customer fill in the Go High Level Form automatically with the help of the same lead details a new record should be created in my Zoho CRM too so that I can add all the leads in my CRM system and follow up quickly and efficiently. So to do this we are going to create a connection between Go High Level and Zoho CRM. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Then let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know in this video we are going to understand how to create Zoho CRM record for Go High Level form submission. So as you know that I run a detect company and we use Go High Level for capturing leads through forms on our website. So to manage these leads what I want is that as soon as a new lead is submitted in my Go High Level form submission automatically with the help of same lead details a new record should be created in my Zoho CRM too. So I'm going to create this automation because this ensures that all the leads are promptly entered into our CRM system for immediate follow up enhancing our lead management management process and improving our response times. So to do this we are going to create a simple automation with the help of Pabli Connect. So to create this automation I have opened the landing page of Pabli simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the other one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I am an existing user so I am going to click on sign in right over here. And as soon as we are going to click on sign in, it is opening all Pabli apps. Oh yeah, you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account. And as soon as we are going to click on access now, it is opening my dashboard. And to start with the automation, we are going to click on this button which says create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which says automations and I want to name my workflow as how to create Zoho CRM record for go high level form submission and then we are going to click on create and as soon as we are going to click on create it is opening the most important window of our automation so this is our workflow window so this is the most important window because we have triggered an action and this trigger means when this happens an action means do this so by this you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So this means that the trigger commands the workflow and the actions are response towards that same command. So now I'm going to select my trigger application to start with the automation. So for the trigger application we are going to select go high level and to select go high level as our trigger application we are going to search for lead connector v2. So I'm going to search for lead connector right over here and as you can see lead connector v2. So we are going to search for it and then we are going to select it right over here head and now for the trigger event we are going to select it as form submitted so here you can see the same so we are going to select it and as soon as we are going to do this it is giving me a web book url so we are going to use this same web book url in order to create a connection between our go high level account or lead connector v2 account with our pabli's workflow so here you can see that i'm going to copy this web book url and then we are going to follow this help text so i'm going to open my go high level account and over here you can see that this is my account and i've already logged in it so it is really advised to log in your applications before before starting with the automation it makes the procedure easy and as soon as we are going to open this from the left side bar we have to go on automation and after going on automation you can see all the workflows that I have created but I'm going to create a new so I'm going to click on create workflow and then we are going to go and start from scratch and as soon as we are going to do this it is going to open a new workflow over here you can see a new workflow so first I'm going to name this workflow right over here so I'm going to change the name as Zoho CRM so I'm going to enter Zoho CRM right over here and then we are going to move on forward. So as you can see that again it is asking me for the trigger. So as I recently explained to you that the trigger commands the workflow. So I want that as soon as the new form is submitted then my workflow should be commanded. Over here you can see the form submitted. So I am going to select it as form submitted. And over here you can see that now it is asking me for the trigger name. So over here I am going to select it as same only. And then we are going to click on save trigger. And yes you can see that we have successfully selected our trigger as form submitted. And now we are going to select the action also right over here. So I am going to click on this plus button 
and now it is saying action so i'm going to select the action as web hook so i'm going to search for it and as you can see the same so you are going to select it and as soon as we are going to select it it is asking me the action name so it is web hook i'm going to keep the method as post only because i want to post the data to my workflow and now it is asking me for the url so we are going to paste the web hook url we copied from our workflow and now after pasting this we are going to click on save action and as soon as we are going to click on this yes you can see that we have successfully created this workflow so i'm going to save this workflow first and then we are going to publish this workflow so after saving this we are going to publish this and again we are going to save this and yes with this we have successfully connected our go high level account with our pabli's workflow but over here you can see that it is saying waiting for a web book response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record so in order to capture this web book response we have to do a test submission and in order to do the test submission we are going to open our go high level account again we are going to go back right from here and as soon as we are going to go back over here you can see that we have successfully published our workflow which is zoho crm so i'm going to look for my workflow first right over here and as you can see that this is my workflow and we have successfully published it so now we are going to do the test submission and for that we are going to go on sites from the left sidebar and as soon as we are going to open sites we are going to go on forms right over here you can see and then builder so i'm going to open this and as you can see all the forms that i've created so i'm going to select this form which is lead form because i want to capture the details of my students with the help of this form only so i'm going to open this form and do the test submission and over here you can see that this is my form so i'm going to click on preview right from here and do the test submission so for the first name i want the first name to be demo last name user email as demo user 22 at the rate pablitudes.com and now for the phone number i'm going to keep it as this and then we are going to agree with the terms and conditions and click on submit and as soon as we are going to click on submit you can see that thank you for taking the time to complete this form so this means that we have successfully submitted this form and this means that we have successfully did the test submission and also go high level has sent the details of our submission to our workflow so i'm going to open my workflow and check for the details captured by pabli and yes you can see that pabli has captured all the details you can see all the details that we entered where you can see the phone number that we entered or you can see the last name that we entered full name first name and the email that we entered so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now we are going to move on to our action step so we are going to scroll and now for our action application we are going to select it as zoho crm so i'm going to search for zoho crm and as you can see the same so we are going to select it so i'm going to select this because i want that as soon as a new form is submitted in my go high level automatically a record should be created in my zoho crm and now for the action event we are going to select it as insert slash update record and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to do this you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your zoho crm account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then connect with zoho crm and now it is asking me for the domain oh here you can see that enter the domain of your zoho account belongs you from below so here you can see that i'm going to open my zoho account and as you can see that my domain is zoho.in you can see right over here in my url so i'm going to select the same right over here which is zoho.in you have to select your domain right from here you are going to get your domain in your url of your zoho crm and after entering it we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save you can see that power is asking for some permissions so i'm going to click on accept and give pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with pabli you can also click on accept pabli save and as soon as we are going to click on accept you can see that we have successfully connected our zoho crm account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the module name so here i'm going to select it as leads because this is the module i want to create this automation for you can select your desired right from here under the module name and now it is asking me for the layout so we are going to select it as standard only we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the pipeline name so as you can see that this is not the required field so i'm going to leave it as blank and now it is asking me for the duplicate check fields so i'm going to select it as email because i want that with the help of the email the duplicates field should be checked because everyone has a unique email so we are going to move on forward as you can see that it is asking me for many details so we are only going to fill in the required details so i'm going to move on to the first name directly and we are going to map the first name so mapping is a method by pabli 
which means inserting the data from the previous step. And as you know, our previous step was the trigger step where we selected lead connector as our trigger application. So we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only. And as soon as we are going to map these details automatically, my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received in my Go High Level account. So I'm going to give you an example that over here for the first name, if I'm going to enter demo like this manually, then this will not change with every new lead received from the form submitted because this is static information and I've entered it manually. But if I'm going to map it from the previous response, over here you can see the first name. So we are going to map it from the previous response. Then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change. So that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time. And now it is asking me for the last name. So you are going to map the last name. Also, I'm going to search for last name. And as you can see the same, so we are going to map it. We are going to move on forward. Over here you can see that designation is not the required field. I'm going to leave it as blank. We are going to map the email because we have the email of our lead. As you can see the same, so we are going to map it. Also, we are going to map the phone number because we have the phone number of our lead too. So we are going to map it. We are going to move on forward. You can see that it is asking me for many details. So I'm going to leave all of these details blank because all of these are not the required details. I'm directly going to move on, click on save and send test request. If you wish, you can definitely fill these details out. And as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request, you can see that we have successfully created a new record in our Zoho CRM with these same details. Yes, this is a positive response. So I'm going to open my Zoho CRM and check for the new records created. So I'm going to open my Zoho CRM and from here we are going to go on leads. And as soon as we are going to go on leads, yes, you can see the new record created. Over here you can see the name, the email that we entered and the phone number that we entered. So yes, with this we have successfully completed our workflow. But I'll just test this workflow once and this time I'm going to give you a real-time example. So to do this, I'm going to open my form again and we are going to do another test submission. So I'm going to refresh this page and this time we are going to do the test submission with the new details. So for the first name, I'm going to keep it as test, last name, user, email as test, user 22 at the rate pablitudes.com. And now for the phone number, I'm going to keep the phone number as this. And after entering all the details, we are going to agree with the terms and conditions and click on submit. And as soon as we are going to click on submit, you can see again, it is saying thank you for taking your time to complete this form. So yes, we have successfully filled in this form again. And now this means that Go High Level has sent the details of our submission to our workflow. Pabli captured the response, triggered the workflow and further created a new record in our Zoho CRM. So I'm going to open my Zoho CRM and check for the new record created. And this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on C1 send test request. I'll directly open my Zoho CRM and we are going to refresh this page which is the leads page. So I'm going to refresh this page and check for the new record created with the same details that we entered. And yes, you can see name test user over here you can see the email which is test user 22 at the rate And over here you can see the phone number that we entered. So yes, with this our workflow is successful and I'll just summarize the workflow for you once. For the trigger application, we selected lead connector v2 because we wanted to connect go high level account with our Pabli's workflow and then for the trigger event, we selected form submitted. For the action application, we selected Zoho CRM and then for the action event, we selected insert or update record because I wanted that as soon as the new form is submitted in my go high level. So let's take an example that when a potential student fill out a form with the details like their name, email, email or the phone number, the automation captures this response and creates a new lead or a new record in my Zoho CRM. And yes, we were successful with our workflow. Over here, you can see the two records I created during this video with the help of my workflow. So yes, this automation ensures that all our leads are promptly added in into our CRM system for immediate follow up, enhancing our lead management process. So yes, this was it for the video. And if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow, you can directly comment on this video. And for your reference, I'll just clone the workflow and share the workflow link in the description box. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli, you can integrate many more applications. So now, if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.